Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Figma plugin for actual RP so that you can basically copy your design, your artboard in Figma and use it directly into, uh, into actual RP so that you can start to prototype directly in design. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and put a like, a comment and that's it. Let's get started. So the first the three things that you should do before starting are the first things is to download the Axure Cloud clients. Uh, so you go on Axure.cloud.download and you can download this application. This will basically give you the possibility to access to your files on the Axure Cloud locally. So uh, second thing you should go on figma.com slash download and eventually if you don't have it installed yet you should download a figma app indeed for your mac or your pc and third and the most important thing you should go on actuarecom slash actual and figma plugin and you can download here as you can see on the on the screen you ha you can download the figma plugin for figma to uh, Axure. what it does it installs exactly a plugin on figma on the on the client version of figma so on the software that you have installed on your pc or mac uh, to give the possibility to export or i would say copy the content of uh, of an artboard into uh, Figma inside Axure and to start prototyping from the design. Let's see how it works. So let's close this and let's go on, uh, first of all, on Figma. Let's open Figma. Here we are. Here, if we go into the name of the, of the person so on, on your user, you can go in plugins and as you can see here, install its Axure. So the second thing is, for the sake of this video, uh, let's say that you already created your own design in Figma uh, or, or Sketch or uh, Adobe XD because this plugin uh, is available for all of them. And you go, for example, in this case, in, uh, in the Figma community and you want to download one design, okay? Uh, or you want to start from one, one design, okay? So I will say I go on web design and I search for a dashboard, okay? For example, here I can see that uh, for, uh, okay, there is an admin dashboard UI kit. Let's click on this. Okay, actually are only two pages if I see well. Yeah, are only two pages. I guess that there will be a, a full version uh, paying. Okay, but that's fine. That's actually fine. So the, th the only thing that you should do now is go on this button over here, duplicate, click on duplicate, and automatically this design will be downloaded into Figma. And you can start design and tweak it as you wish. So now let's put uh, on one side Figma and on the other side we open a file for Axure RP. After that you uh, installed this uh, plugin, what you can do now, the magic, the trick, is that if you click uh, on one of the, of, of the artboards and you click on one of the artboards, with the right click you can go on plugins and now you see Axure. So with Axure, here the uh, options, as you can see, are four. So the first is copy selection for RP. And what it does, it's what is written. That's simple. So it copies what you selected as artboard, paste it inside Axure. Let, let, let's, let, let's see how it works. So I say copy. Now, we should wait a bit, that, as you can see here below, it's running Axure, it's loading the plugin, 
And that's it. It's finished. So we go on Azure and we can paste it. And voila. And we have everything there. So all the layers are exactly the same as in, uh, in Figma and it works pretty well. So the only thing that you have to be sure of uh, before doing something like that is that you uh, have the same font installed on your Mac or PC that is the same of, of the design because otherwise will, it will mess up everything, you know. So the best thing is always to do this uh, before in, uh, um, uh, in Figma. Let's just go back. What we can do also is to, for example, if I, if I click um, everywhere else with the right click, for example, in the canvas, I go again in plugins, Axure, and I can copy all frames for Axure RP. Actually, it's exactly the same thing, but it copies all the artboards in the same time and you can paste it in the same time. Let's see the other two functionalities. So, for example, if we go on, uh, again, uh, right-click, plugin, Axure, and I can select, for example, uh, export selection to Axure Cloud or export all frames to Axure Cloud. What does it mean? Really simple. Well. What it does, it's simply export the design directly into a file on the actual cloud, exactly. And over there, you can already create simple prototypes like um, you can do, for example, with Envision, right? With a sketch file or an XD file. So, and again, these things, you can do it with whatever software, uh, design software you want. So uh, with uh, Figma, with Sketch or Adobe XD it works exactly in the same way, okay? So we uh, export, for example, all frames to, to actual cloud, but to do that, what we have to do, as you can see, we have to open the actual cloud client on our PC or, or Mac. So we click on actual cloud, okay? Uh, I can do now the same thing, right click, plugins, and Axure and export all frames to Axure Cloud. Now it's running. It opens now Axure Cloud, the application. You select your works workspace where you want to, uh, to put it. You select the project, okay. I can create a new project, for example. I name the project, like for example, I don't know, uh, a new dashboard, okay. I say that uh, the size should be auto uh, web and I upload it. And as you can see now uh, in full screen, I will put it in full screen, maybe it's better. So we do it a bit bigger, okay. As you can see here, we have the preview of the two uh, canvas directly from Figma. So here we're not talking about Axure. And of course, this is just uh, actually an image. Uh, but but what you can do is you uh, is that you can go on build, and now basically you can work on the different pages, okay, exactly as you work on uh, Envision. So for example, let's say that here we have only these two pages. So one is the uh, is the overview, and one is the ticket. So I can put, for example, a button here. So uh, just a, a hotspot. And I can say that uh, on click, okay, I go to the ticket and I can add an hotspot. So I create a hotspot. I say on click, that's fine. On click, go to overview, animate, fade, add hotspot. That's it. So now what I can do is basically go back to preview and now if I click on, on tickets, I go to the ticket page. If I click on overview, I go on the overview page. The other uh, important feature that we have, it's the inspect. And you can go deep, like for example, you can click on one, one element, for example, the, the title, you can see all the specs for the title. So the typography, the color, the, the, the font size, uh, and uh, we can even copy the CSS that is uh, created by uh, the actual inspect element. It's really amazing. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and you learn something but remember to subscribe to the channel activate the bell and put a like a comment and see you in the next video bye